What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And guys, you're going to be very, very offended if you're listening to this particular episode. Because I'm going to be real, right? And a lot of women and men may be offended. Obviously, I do not care. I don't like most of you anyway. Okay, most of you subscribers suck. So with that being said, let's get into it. Candy Burris is quite the interesting person. Um, I, 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 I mean, I remember her from being an escape. And, you know, that group was just was so ugly it, you know they look like they escaped from a damn zoo or something like uh, uh, you, you know got tiny you had candy burst and some of the other girls i mean they, you know those 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 chicks outside of that song who can i run to they, they were bums all right let's just be honest and they, they're not that cute all right but besides them being not that cute uh candy burris out of all of them ended up being the most successful okay and uh, I'm not going to knock her hustle. She, she looks a lot better now after all of the surgeries. Uh, Tiny, Tiny got worse. Candy Burris got better. But you know what? Surgeries in sisters are starting to get a little bit too common, okay? And, you know, I'm in the continent, and I see a lot of black women that get skin bleaching, and they're dealing with the weaves and stuff like that. And I just shake my head when I when I see that. I, I, I think that, you know, as, as as black women who should be proud of their African looking features, many times they're not. All right. You see you see people all the time, the models and everything, uh, Nicki Minaj's, the little Kim's. They're, they're, they're running away from them. And, and, and Candy Burris and her daughter, who is named Riley, has just graduated high school. And, 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 and kudos to the young lady for going to NYU, all right? Seems to be a very bright young lady. Candy Burris is super rich, doing very well, very entrepreneurial. But Candy Burris has come under attack from allowing her daughter to get a nose job. And you know what? And I, I, I can see how people are doing that because you know what? I, I always hear... When, 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 when the black community comes after black men for wanting to date white women, for wanting them to date women that are from Brazil, for wanting women to date women that have noses like that or stuff like that, people call it self-hatred. You know, oh, you hate your mom, you hate yourself. You want white women, you want this. And then when you have Candy Burris who allows her daughter to get a nose job, and if you look at her, you know, in the, in the photo, um, you know, like I said, Riley, it, it, it's, you know, she's a, she, she's doing it for her own self-confidence. Uh, you know, if you look at her in this picture, you know, she has a, a, a long weave with a nose job. And, 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 and the makeup definitely makes her lighter than what she is. But nobody, nobody will call Candy, Candy, Candy Burris so much of a self-hater. But I will tell you, you know, that's what that is, all right? That's what that is. And, and when brothers come across, at least some of us, women that have taken to this sort of look, it, it screams low self-esteem, all right? And I'm not coming for the, the young lady because she's 17 and obviously... You know, she, she, she wants to look pretty. But Riley, if you're listening to this, you were a pretty young lady before that. Hmm? You're a pretty young lady before that. And even Candy Burris and Escape. I, I, I come for people. You know, I'm always trashing everybody. But you know, the sisters to me, you already are good looking. Now, all of us can't be beautiful, but you don't need to do that to become beautiful or acceptable. 
and some people end up looking worse than what they do when they go under the knife. You end up looking worse. You know what happens is a lot of a lot of people, you know, uh, guys can get fooled. You know, you, 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 you're thinking that you're going to get a woman that looks one way. And then not to mention when you have babies with her, the child comes out looking like, like, oh, my God. Oh, you mean like what she really looks like? And, and now you're upset. And I think that this is a lack of self-esteem. And you know what? It, that's something that black men can't give women. You know, a lot of women, I, I, saw, I saw one chick. This is a true story. One girl, um, you know, she she wanted to get a nose reduction. And I, I'm like, why? Like, like, like you're, a good, you're a great looking woman. I just feel so insecure about it. You know, one other, one other lady, uh, you know, she had her boobs are too big or I know one lady, her boobs are too small. It, uh, but, but you know, in all three of these cases, guys like them for them, but for whatever reason, they wanted it. And I'm trying to find out what's the reason. Like, you, you know, and a lot of times you, you, you'll see what they'll do and they'll do this and say, well, because men like it is why I want to get a nose job. Well, men like it is why I want to get a weave. And that's, that's totally not true. You don't have to go under the knife for somebody to like you. And if you got to go under the knife for somebody to like you, you don't need nobody. All right? I'll tell you like this. I have a big ass nose. Huge. I can smell what's coming next year. I wish I would get a nose job to impress one of you chicks. I don't give a damn about you. Straight up. I'm going to be real. You, none of you women out there in the world are worth me getting a nose job for. Sorry, and my lips are big, and sometimes they be ashy. Guess what? Don't like it? Get the F out. I'm 30, not hairline receding. I'm not about to get no damn hair transplant and start weaving it up. No. I got my little ball spot. When it come in shady, I go and, and shade that thing all the way off. And I got my church pants on and stuff like that. I'm rocking it. And I don't have, and I don't have no problems. Get all kind of women. All, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saved and sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost. But if I wanted to, don't got no problem. Hello. And that's how we living out here. Somebody say, ooh, they music. Ooh, his nose so big. Get to stepping. How about that? You can get your ass up out of here. That's what you can do. How about that? How about that? In my obsidian voice. Get the hell up out of here. Get on up out of here. Player it. Either these guys like you or they don't. Plenty of dudes out there like your big nose. Like your bald head. Like your new growth in the front. Just keep it clean. Keep it tight. Get you a wave cap if you're bald-headed and rock that thing. Let's get somebody looking different. All y'all out here looking the same. And let me say this, right? I'm going to go there. Some sisters I saw on Bossip or Madame Moore, one of the websites, uh, was complaining. Uh, I, I don't know. Or maybe it was like uh, a YouTube video I saw. Complaining about uh, transgendered women. Being able to compete with, you know, cisgendered women. Mm -hmm. All right. And, 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 and how they're getting, you know, now they're looking just like, like regular women. They get knifed up. Well, listen, if, if, if that's the case, because I, I, I do understand your point. You do the opposite. Because everybody's starting to look the same. It's making it look easy. You be yourself. Same with the brothers. You ain't got to go out there and get you a nose job and start Sammy Sosa it up and all that. Look, man, if they like you or they don't. If they don't like you, you work on you. Somebody going to like you. They can get the hell on. All I'm concerned, you're going to get up out of here. And one thing I love doing is putting niggas out and Negro X out my shit. Get up out of here. Today. Not now. Right now. Bye. Bye. You don't like me, somebody going to Bye. You're out. And if a lot of women have that attitude, listen, 
it to be so much better today. All right? All right? So guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Uh, subscribe at the bell. You know, I really appreciate you guys supporting the content. Check me out on Patreon.com. Don't forget to check me out on the uh, my, my Black Man the Purple T-shirt and all of that. And as you know, the buffoonery makes an, uh, remains an all-time high. I'm out. Peace.